Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into the properties of data. So there are total five properties that I have listed over here. The first property is accuracy. Second is completeness. Third is reliability. Fourth is relevance. And fifth is timeliness. There might be some other property also, but these are five most important properties of data. Let's have a look at all of them one by one, starting with accuracy. So over here, you can see accuracy, the name itself tells the correctness, whether the data is correct and also it reflects reality. For example, number of students in a class matches the actual count. Let's say if a particular class contains 60 students in reality, but after counting the number of students in that particular class, we get 59. So in this particular case, the data is approximately equal to each other, but they are not exactly equal. So here, the data cannot be termed as correct. Whenever we deal with data science related problems, we must ensure that the data that we are going to use must be accurate. Even if a slight change in the accuracy of data happens, the entire solution that will be created won't be fully correct. So that is why accuracy is the most important property of data data has to be accurate. So I hope this particular property of data is clear to you all. The next property is completeness. Completeness property of data ensures that data is comprehensive as well as it has all the necessary information that is needed. Whenever we try to solve a particular problem, whatever data we have, we must ensure that the data is available fully. It has to be complete. For example, student names include first and last name, not just initials. Now let's say we have a particular variable which shows the names of the students with their initials. So for example, Mr. X, Y, Z, this can be the first name and the last name can be ABC. So in this particular format, the data is stored, the names are stored of each and every student. Now let's take a case where this particular record contains only the initial, let's say Miss and the name is empty. So in this particular case, the data is incomplete. It, it is not providing all the necessary information that we are expecting from it. So that is why here data is incomplete. But whenever we talk about quality of data, it has to be complete. It should ensure the completeness property. So I hope this particular property is clear to you all. Now let's move on to the next property of data that is reliability. Do you want to check out this attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contains technical information. Here I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So please do appreciate that by watching all those. And if you love it, please hit the follow button. This is the most important factor we have to consider whenever we talk about any sort of data. Data is consistent and does not contradict other sources or systems. Whenever we talk about a particular data, that data must be trustworthy. It should be reliable. For example, student birthdays are the same in school records as well as in the health records. Let's say the date of birth of a student is X. In school, now the same date of birth has to be reflected in all the different databases wherever the student's information is go going to be used. For example, in hospital, if that particular student goes in hospital, the same date of birth has to be present in the records of that particular hospital for that particular student. So it should not change anywhere. Universally, it has to be one and the single as well as it has to be precise and reliable. So that is what is the property says. Whenever we talk about the quality of data, it has to be reliable. So I hope this particular property is clear to you all. Now let's have a look at the fourth property that is relevance. Data is useful and meets the needs of the user or the context. So this means that whatever problem statement we are talking about, based on that particular problem statement, we must ensure that the data that we are going to use, that has to be relevant. The data has to be relevant and it has to be useful that for that particular problem statement. Otherwise, there is no use of using that particular data. 
for example student hobbies are relevant for club activity when we talk about club activities then in that particular case student hobbies are relevant for example the student might love to play guitar or might love to play some sort of sports so that particular hobby is relevant when it comes to club activity but that same hobby won't be relevant when it comes to a math test so that is why we must understand what exactly is the problem statement and based on that particular problem statement we must ensure that the data is relevant to that particular problem statement or not so that has to be the fourth property of data so i hope this particular property is clear now let's move on to the fifth property of data that is the timeliness data must be up to date and it can be used for real time reporting or analysis so whenever this property comes we must remember one particular word that is consistency data has to be consistent throughout the database the data has to be consistent everywhere whenever we are talking about multiple databases also in every single database whenever we talk about a particular record that has to be consistent that has to be up to date in all the databases and also this timeliness property ensures that the data is going to be used for real time reporting or analysis too now let's take an example student attendance is updated every day not once a month so this is true every student's attendance has to be updated every single day not on an occasional basis so this is nothing but a real time reporting or you can say a consistent factor of data so i hope this particular property and example is also clear to you with this we come to the end of the video and i'm sure you have understood all the five properties of data we are going to use these five properties sometime in future for sure if you guys have any single doubt you can straight away put it in the comment section i'll be happy to solve it for more such videos do like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram please join me on telegram thanks for watching and have a good day and don't forget to watch the upcoming videos stay tuned